The entire cryptocurrency business is currently in full-on shadow mode, so you can only image what's going on with the finance people and all the other crypto companies. If you guys would just give or lend me a million dollars, I will invest it in XRP and return it to you in two years. Right not only will I refund more than a million dollars, but if I were them I'd just print a trillion dollars, right? Just let it pump, maybe you'll prevent the market rate from plummeting and, instead, keep prices stable, after all, that's what Tether USDT does, they prop up the entire market, with most of the support going to Bitcoin. But get ready, because according to Andrew's update, two sources have confirmed that the SEC is close to taking action against Binet Slash, and it's not just against the Nance team. He should hope that it's only the SEC and not the Justice or Department of Justice, because we were right the whole time. Stocks not registered with the SEC and money laundering I can't believe this is actually happening, I guess people just don't give a damn what we say on this channel. But who knows who might be right someday. If the Department of Justice goes after Nance and CZ, you know why they will be wary because of all this shady stuff. But the Boy Who Cried Wolf crew has to hope it's just a set going after by Nance and CC itself, right, or themselves. The SEC is undoubtedly plotting, planning, and plotting as we speak as everything there is by Nance very heavily guys we know the game plan here because a supposedly secure cryptocurrency exchange, Bittrex, has filed for bankruptcy in Delaware. You actually just beat the time the dust guys right, and another one. One last piece of guidance the Matrix method Bitrex has already said that it plans to excellent essays but also faces in sec enforcement action guys SEC began tinkering with the exchange. They're currently targeting every cryptocurrency and crypto coin on the market. On Monday, Bitrex announced it was filing for bankruptcy in the relatively risk-free state of Delaware, following months of saying it would cease you. S operations and weeks of being sued by the SEC. Now that liabilities and assets are both believed to be between $500 million and $1 billion, the exchange believes it has more than 100,000 creditors. Randall Rees, who maintains the bankruptcy tracking website Chapter 11 Dockets, recently revealed that the company has filed for bankruptcy. From Nance Coinbase guys, I really don't know. I have two points to make here, gentlemen. In addition to the FTX NA hosts of lenders, including Celsius Voyager and BlockFi, Bittrex is the latest crypto business to declare bankruptcy. Who is it this time? Also, when, when, people, what's up with Tether? If I'm not mistaken, the CFTC plans to crack down on Tether. But but what about once more? Tether is the federal for the cryptocurrency industry right our space is just keep printing and propping the entire space up, similar to how the Federal Reserve has kept the U. S. Dollar from collapsing. However, you may be right in thinking that the USDT tether will eventually implode during the collapse. That's happening very soon. The SEC appears poised to go after the Coinbase team at any moment, right? Coinbase seems like it's on the verge of being sued because it's so close to actually being sued. It's insane that even now some individuals dismiss the regulars as meaningless cliches. But you guys recall Mr. Pool from 2020, so from FFO check Mr. Pool and other Chapter 11 links. Guys, you have to remember that this crypto space drama didn't begin with the POC. There's no way out, on to Chapter 11. This is too crazy to be true, guys. Bitrix NK has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in the state of Delaware, and just look what they fell for. Excuse me, Gus? But how did the rattlesnakes act just before these things took place? Guys, give this a quick moment of your thought. The Bitrix equivalent of bankruptcy is 229,910,111,213. The value of 13. Rifle makes another public proclamation. During the BI FinTech Summit, CEO Brad Garland House and regulator MD Navin Blockchain are in town to announce a new office and host Swell Global 23 in the United Arab Emirates, further solidifying the company's commitment to the region. That the United Arab Emirates is going to play home to Global Summit Swell Global 23 is, to put it mildly, exciting. If I'm not incorrect, we've already heard that insiders in that country have a firm grasp on the true state of XRP and Ripple because of the massive sums of money they've sunk into the cryptocurrency. Despite the XRP litigation, Ripple's growth continues. Wow, look at how these other trades are collapsing, this is nuts. 
Robo is now involved in a litigation, but don't worry, they won't go under any time soon. The SEC's efforts to weaken them have simply served to fortify them, and this, my friends, is completely nuts because, well, Worldwide Teaching 3 in Dubai, they suppose he man travels ace right barber knows the time frame. From April through May, Stacy is quite correct. A period of transition happens during which the thinking man also travels to the east in search of justice. It's intriguing, 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 while Coinbase is also looking at the UAE as a possible international hub for cryptocurrencies at the moment. A CEO has stated isn't it strange, though, that so many Bitcoin companies are relocating their offices or otherwise evading the skeptics by doing so. Now, why? That's why the SEC is going after all the critics, right guys? If you're thinking of starting a cryptocurrency business in the United States, experts like Brad Garland House suggest you should go elsewhere because the SEC is applying outdated regulations to the blockchain. There are dozens of correct answers, so why does this make sense? How do you play why are these guys doing this, anyway? I don't know, I don't know, but we know that 9.9% .9 of these Escalates immune coin folks are going to get in trouble with the SEC, right? Only a select handful will make it, but those who do will no doubt leave you filthy rich, right guys? Again, I'll just make sure I'm ready. I believe their strategy entails luring everyone else there. They are actively working to bring in as many countries as possible to the cryptocurrency fold. That's probably the strategy, and the big question for the final act is, who's in it? Do American men have it right? What a wonderful fact. What makes it even stranger is that perhaps they don't want you to get rich guys in America. Right. They want you to leave since most nations allow investment in pre-IPO and similar schemes. Coin offerings in the beginning. ICO if people still do that, I have no idea. However, I'm quite sure that in the United States you can't invest in coins like that before they enter the market due to rules and regulations or something, right guys? That the SEC has an interest in safeguarding investors is, therefore, very bizarre. But why haven't they gone after them? For what reason did they leave? Why didn't the UAE crack down on FTX, Tarot, and the rest of the immune coins before they imploded? That country is finally starting to see the revolutionary potential of the crypto economy. The United Arab Emirates UAE has all the makings of a key regional hub that may significantly boost Coinbase's global presence. Oh, I see now, you guys have cracked the code, I know the exact strategy. Because they aim to send a shockwave through Coinbase, the SEC is assaulting every cryptocurrency exchange on the planet. These crypto industry leaders are in the vanguard of expanding crypto operations to other regions, right? For the simple reason that they want you guys on board. Right, since their objective is to introduce a new order. Right. And the way to achieve that is to make sure that everyone feels like they belong. If you run a privately owned central banking system with worldwide monopolistic powers over most currencies, governments, and corporations, and you think these five XRP aims were attainable and what, then you're delusional. To kill the Ripple XRP brand in the eyes of the public, you would use all the resources at your disposal to do things like smear XRP executives or get the SEC to send Gary Gensler to jail blah blah fear intimidation bankruptcy, right? Why does XRP exist? Because 1 it helps to level the economic playing field, 2 it eliminates political tyranny in the United States, 3 it restores soundness and transparency. 4 it exposes crimes against humanity, and 5 it gives power back to the people by decentralizing it. If only, since that's the case, you guys do realize this is an if. Perhaps this is why they filed a complaint with the SEC against Ripple. At the end of the day, I think it's all a show, folks. At least, that's how I see it. However, a genuine performance. He elaborates on why they're so intent on destroying the Ripple and XRP people despite their apparent success. Because of this technology, we're approaching a new era even as we speak, right guys? But I'm confident that we will emerge victorious. It's finished as of today. If you enjoy what you see, please subscribe to my channel and give it a like. See you in the next video.